Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. In today's video we got something new for you. Uh, it's something completely new to me. I had never seen it before in the stores uh, so I thought we would try it out. Uh, we got a Star Wars mystery box unboxing. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. There's the front of the box, side of the box, the other side, top, and bottom. Uh, it intrigued me because this box is heavy, so it makes me wonder what's inside of there. Uh, it does say it's over $100 value in retail. Uh, it did cost $29.99, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to open this up, and we're going to see, is it really worth it? Uh, it says on the box, as you can see, uh, some of the different things that could be in it. Uh, looks like it's Phantom Force Mystery Box, Star Wars Rogue One Mission Briefing Packs, uh, 10 packs plus one medallion card of Force Awakens. Uh, some galactic connections? I don't know what that is. Um, they're all new to me. But it does say you get one value box, six fat packs, five packs, three starter decks, six boosters, ten bonus items, and one mystery item. I'm assuming you get all of those. Hopefully those aren't just options. So... Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Whoa, this thing is stuffed to the top. Alright. So, looks like we got some... It looks like Star Wars Rebels trading cards. Oh, we, get, we got two of those so far. Those Galactic Connections, uh, those are pretty heavy. That might be what was so heavy in the box. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, we're not done yet. Six of those, so six of the Star Wars Connections. Looks like we got a Force Awakens mystery keychain figure. Uh, we got some Rogue One trading cards. A couple of different versions of the packs. Uh, we got this version. We got two of those. And we got this version. And we got two of those. So far that I can see. Uh, we got an, a Stormtrooper that looks like an m, &M dude. I have no idea. He's a keychain. Kind of dirty, to be honest. Uh, yeah, if you get one of those, they might be a little dirty. Star Wars Force Awakens dog tags. We got two of those. Uh, looks like a Luke Skywalker slap band for your wrist. So you go ahead and slap that on your wrist and it turns into a wristband. Uh, we got three of these. These are Star Wars Journey to the Last Jedi packs. It says exclusive Adam Driver as Kylo Ren autograph cards only at Walmart. So I don't know if these came from Walmart or what, but we got three of these. Uh, this is probably. Oh, we got some fat heads. Neat. Uh, we got four of the Star Wars Force Awakens fat head packs. Wow, haven't seen these in a while. We got some silly bands from the Clone Wars. Clone Wars silly bands. There's another pack from the uh, Walmart, Ray, Adam Driver thing I was talking about a second ago. Uh, here's one that was Journey to the Force Awakens. I'm trying to check to see if there's any others of those in here. Only one of those. Uh, this was also what was heavy. More of the Galactic Connections. Collectible trading disc. 
and game. So I wonder what the game is. I know my wife and I love games, so we got one, two, three of those. So that must be the three starter decks, is my guess. Those are probably the starter decks, is this game. And then we got Phantom Force Mystery Box. Look for ultra rare autograph cards. Uh, so there may be some autograph cards in there. It looks like on the side, this is what the box looks like for the mystery box of that. And it says each box includes four sealed packs, four collectible disc packs, and one fat pack. So it says that on the side there. Wow, I'm running out of room. Well, I can ditch the big box because I got one last thing in here. Uh, Star Wars 40th Anniversary Trading Cards. There's 10 packs plus a medallion card. Star Wars 40th Anniversary. Interesting. Well, needless to say, as you can see from all the stuff we got here, there's definitely a ton of stuff. Um, there's a lot of cards, so if you're into Star Wars trading cards, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on for that. Uh, we got two boxes. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got tons of uh, single packs and fat packs of a wide variety of stuff. Dog tags. I think the only weird thing that I thought was in here was the keychain that looked like it was a little used. Um, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Uh, there's a wide variety of things in this box. Uh, personally, because I had thought about doing some uh, card unboxings on the channel. And based on the prices I'm seeing for those, I think this was worth it. Um, I'm new to Star Wars trading cards, so maybe I'm oblivious to what it really is. But to me, at first glance, looks like it's worth it. Uh, and also, if you're into the Galactic Connections, please correct me if I'm saying that right. Um, if you're interested in that, I got a ton of those in this box. So if you have a heavy box that you pick up for one of these, there's a good chance that's probably in there. Um, I think the fat heads are pretty cool. We're going to have to check those out. Um, I think the funniest thing was the silly bands because I remember when those were super popular way, or I shouldn't say way back when it was only a couple years ago, but yeah, those are super cool. They're clone wars. You can tell they're older by the packaging. So that's really cool. And it looks like they were $4.99 at one point. So that's a good chunk of your box already right there. I'm curious who this will be, uh, the keychain, the dog tags. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and do a separate video opening up these different things. Uh, so stay tuned for those. Uh, but yeah, my overall opinion, I think it's worth it. Uh, we will go ahead and check out what's in these packs in a separate video. So stay tuned for that, as I had said a second ago. And yeah, we'll have more fun as we unbox more of the box. So this is all in the Star Wars Mecha Box. Uh, it shows things from Journey to Rise of Skywalker on there, but that's the only thing on the front of the box that we did not get. No, the, we got the uh, 40th anniversary box instead of the Rise of Skywalker. Something tells me that might be more cool because it might have more original stuff in it. Uh, yeah, pretty neat. All right, everybody, that about wraps it up for us today. Again, we unboxed the Mega Mystery Box for Star Wars. A uh, lot of cool things, a lot of new things to me that I hadn't seen before, which was pretty cool, honestly. Uh, I have seen a lot of the different trading card uh, packs and uh, like the different sets and whatnot, but I had not knew about the connections at all. 
uh, I'm looking forward to opening up these. So turn on notifications, that way you are notified when we do these. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you like the video, and drop a comment letting us know any variety of things. Are there any of these things in here that get you excited, that you really like? Um, I'm very curious how many of you do the connections. Um, if you do, let me know what ones are good, which ones are bad. I have no idea. Uh, looking at just the ones from the top of these three, um, I'm assuming that which is what the starter decks were, um, none of them are the same. So that's super cool. And each of these comes with 14 discs. I have to do my research on these and what they really are. Um, yeah. Look forward to these in another video. And then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.